Yo, did y'all hear what's happening on NBA 2K19, bro? I had to stop everything I was doing, bro. Everything I was doing, I had to stop, and I had to come and make this video for y'all. Now I'm on Twitter, bro. I'm on Twitter scrolling, strolling, whatever you want to call it, just like any other day, bro. And I come across a tweet from someone that work at the 2K. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that work at 2K, bro. And guess what the news is, bro? I, I gotta get my phone. The news is, bro, that they patching stretch bids on NBA 2K19. Do you know how mad I am? Do you know how mad I am, bro? They are patching stretch bids on NBA 2K19, bro. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this, bro. Let me fix my camera real quick. Let me fix my camera real quick. All right, there we go, man. So, they patching stretch bids on NBA 2K19, bro. Um, if you're watching this video, man, make sure you like the video, man. Like the video right now, bro. Let's get this video to a thousand likes, bro. Real quick, real simple, man, if you're watching the video. Because it's it's free. It's free to like the video. So, make sure y'all like it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, though. Y'all like the video? <laughs> Y'all like the video though? Alright, let's get right into it. So, man, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. In NBA 2K18, bro, Stretch Bids was way too overpowered, bro. Stretch Bids can do it all. If you had any other... If you had any other center build on 2K18, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Because, bro, Stretch Bids literally, literally could do everything. They could shoot greens... In your face, they can sh they could shoot heavily contested greens. Stretch bids can shoot heavily contested greens. They can shoot light. They can, sh bro. Even if a guard had his hand in a stretch bid face like this, a stretch bid can still shoot over him and green it up in 2K18. Now they patching it. Now don't get me wrong. I'm glad they patching it. I'm glad they patching stretch bids on NBA 2K19. Now, the real stretch bids are go are gonna come back. All right. Now, in the beginning, you are gonna see a lot of um, you gonna see a lot of archetypes. That's you gonna, you gonna see a lot of people that that don't make stretch bids, and it's all gonna be be because they think 2K19 patched them when they they not really gonna patch stretch bids, bro. They do this every year, man. Hold on. Who watching the video right now, bro? If you watching the video right now, man. Oh, hold on. I got to get this side. But if you watching the video right now, you can see my wavy B. Spam up the wave emoji in the chat, in the comment section, bro. Where my brush at? Spam up the wavy. Bro. Spam up the wavy emoji in the comment section, bro. Now. They do this every year, bro. 2K17, 2K18, and 2K19. They make they make a whole bunch of fake news about patching stretch bids on the newest 2K. Alright? I'ma read y'all what they what they said, bro. Now, this I'ma tell y'all what's gonna happen first. I'ma tell y'all what's gonna happen. Alright. In the beginning of the year, I'm I'ma do this too, okay? Now, this is what I'm going to do. This is what's going to happen. In the beginning of the year, including the prelude, the prelude come out in three days. The prelude, um, and in the beginning of NBA 2K19, nobody is going to make a stretch bid. Mark my words. Nobody going to make a stretch bid when NBA 2K19 first come out. Except for the true stretch bids. Alright, now y'all know I'm a true stretch bid, and even I might not make no two, make make a uh, stretch bid. Alright, nobody is gonna make a stretch bid. However, my nigga, however, as soon as as soon as I upload what my stretch bid can do, as soon as somebody else upload what they stretch bid can do, stretch bid is gonna start popping out the. You feel me? They're going to start popping out everywhere. Then you're going to have a whole bunch of stretch bids and a whole bunch of piss sharks and a whole bunch of... All because they following the wave. 
They following the wave. Now, everybody, a lot of people going to see these videos. A lot of people going to see this video. And that's, that's going to make them not want to make stretch bids. But let me read to you what my boy on Twitter said. Let me read to you what my boy on Twitter said. He said, and I quote, and I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can see it. He said, open and contested mid-range and threes are now affected by height for my players. Where shooting is hit a bit harder at the tallest heights. Hashtag NBA 2K19. Now, NBA 2K19, because you trying to play my boy stretch B, bro. You trying to play the stretch B, and I don't like it. I don't like it not one bit. <laughs> Y'all, they trying to play the stretch bids, and I don't like it not one bit. Now I understand, bro. Let's now I understand, bro. Let's get let's get all the stretch bids that was cheesy in NBA 2K18. Let's get all the stretch bids that made stretch bids only because of how overpowered they was in NBA 2K18. Let's get them out the window. Let's get them out the way. Now, if I'm if I'm a stretch bid, this is the only thing I need to happen. Okay. If I'm a stretch big, okay? If I'm a stretch big and I'm wide open at the three. If I'm a 7-3 stretch big and I'm wide open at the three. I'm supposed to be able to make that shot. Okay? I'm supposed to be able to make that wide open three-pointer, bro. If I'm a stretch big on NBA 2K19, bro. Alright? They should not penalize. They should not penalize the stretch bigs that's actually good. That actually have IQ, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. They shouldn't penalize us, bro. They should only penalize the stretch bids that shoot green lights in people's faces. The ones that have terrible shot selection. The ones that only have stretch bids just because they overpower, bro. Now I'ma say this, bro. I'ma say this. Listen, listen. A lot of YouTubers, bro. Didn't have stretch bids in the beginning. A lot of YouTubers didn't have stretch bids in the beginning. I think I know one other YouTuber, bro. I know two YouTubers, bro. I know two other YouTubers who who made stretch bids in the beginning of 2K18. And that was Power, and that was Aglor. So Luminati made a weird ass stretch bid. Y'all remember that, bro? So Luminati made a weird stretch bid. I think Base Chico made a stretch bid. Yes, I'm aware of it. But all the other YouTubers, bro, they didn't have stretch bids, bro. They had like shot creators and and all this other, all these other weird builds because they didn't know that stretch bids was gonna be so overpowered. Your boy, dude, Dennis, bro, I made a playmaking stretch bid, bro. When 2K18 first came out, I made a playmaking stretch bid, all right? And then out of nowhere. I start seeing so many playmaking stretch bids, so many shot creating stretch bids, and that was all because everybody in the 2K community, some followers, bro. Everybody in the 2K community is nothing but a big follower. So let me promise y'all something, bro. Let me promise y'all something, bro. When 2K19 first come out, and somebody gonna find that overpowered archetype on the game, everybody gonna go use it. Everybody gonna go use it, bro. And when I and if you think that stretch B is not gonna be an overpower archetype, bro, I got so but watch me, bro. Watch me. That's all I wanna that's all I gotta tell y'all, bro. When 2K19 come out, watch Duke Dennis, bro. I'm super glad that they that they pet stretch bids. So now you so now you, the dude that's watching this right now. The stretch bid that's watching this right now, I do apologize. I do apologize because you gonna be terrible. A lot of people gonna be terrible. A lot of a lot of people gonna be terrible when 2K19 come out, bro. That's all I gotta say, bro. That is all I gotta say, and I can't wait, bro. I know y'all can't wait either, but hey, look, that's pretty much it from your boy Duke Dennis, man. Y'all make sure y'all like the video up. Make sure y'all comment on the video. And that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it, man. See y'all soon, man. Game!